here we haven't done it on the intercom system, so you're going to be able to see that some of the, the sound effects and some of the acting in person. And for Skippy and Jeremy, I brought a book that has pictures. <laughs> They'll understand some of this too. <laughs> this year, can you uh, speak up for some of those? You, ready? <laughs> you can't hear? If I can come get my actors up here. <clears throat> This year, the recession players would like to introduce Renee. She may be fired before she even gets <laughs> This year, we would like to introduce Renee Becker. She has sterling credentials. She once was in a class play in grade school in Hastings, Minnesota. And after exhaustive auditions through the Brainerd Idol program, we selected Renee to be one of the performers. <laughs> and welcome, we welcome back this year by popular demand, Barbara Pearson. <laughs> we have one bit of sad news because of budgets, we had to trim Carlos Staff from the. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. The Night Before Christmas, story by Clement G. Moore. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. <laughs> the stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds with visions of sugar plums dancing in their heads. <laughs> And Mama and her kerchief and I and my cat had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. Snore. <laughs> when out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. I way to the window I flew like a flash. <laughs> Tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. <laughs> The moon on the breast of the new fall of snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be safe. Yeah. Yeah. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled. <laughs> and shouted and called them by name. Oh, Dasher. No, Dancer. No, Prancer. <laughs> and Vixen. No, Comet. I'm Cupid. I'm Donner. And Blitzen. And where's Rudolph? To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. <laughs> <laughs> as dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky, so up to the housetop the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof, prancing and pawing of each little hoof. <laughs> as I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came hey. with a bound. <laughs> he was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke had encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old man. Oh, And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, 
fill all the stockings and turn with a jerk. Jerk! <laughs> <laughs> and laying the finger aside of his nose and giving a nod at the chimney, he rose. <laughs> he sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle. And away they flew like the down of a thistle. <laughs> I heard him exclaim here, he drove outside. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas to, to all, all. and to all.